This is the Rode PodMic. It's a cardioid dynamic podcasting microphone. It's fairly hefty. Um, when I did the unboxing, I was expecting probably just a little bit more. Um, sure, you, uh, it comes with the microphone and, of course, the mount that you can put onto it. And naturally, I can probably put it on this one. It just so happens I have another stand we could probably attach this to if I wanted to. Uh, the nice thing about this is it does not require any phantom power. So if you do have an audio interface with phantom power, you're going to want to make sure that you shut that off. Um, but in my instance, I currently use the Shure SM7B, which is wired into the Cloudlifter CL1 mic activator, which it essentially boosts the signal without raising the noise floor too much, which is kind of nice. So what I would like to do is actually do a little bit of a comparison. You hear how I am right now, and then you're going to be able to hear how I sound like on this here in just a moment. Now I'm going to try it without the mic activator, and then I'm going to try it with it. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so now I've got the Rode plugged in here. This is the pod mic that you're listening to. Now, obviously the settings are set the same, but I don't have the mic activator. So you can hear it's a little bit harder to, to distinguish what I'm saying. So why don't we go ahead and let's try it with the mic activator to see how it sounds when it boosts that signal. Again, we're not gonna raise the noise floor on this one here. And now we've got it plugged into the Cloudlifter CL1. As you can hear, it's definitely raised this signal a little bit more. It sounds a bit more rich, a little bit more sharp. Uh, I kind of like this. Uh, the One of the things that I noticed though is the fact that since it is a cardioid microphone, it has a pattern that only picks up in front of it. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're speaking directly into it and not so much the side. Uh, I'm able to get away with that with the Shure SM7B where I can kind of speak to the side, but you don't want to deviate too far away because if you're behind the microphone, it's definitely not going to get that. You get up in front of it, it's going to have a nice rich sound. Now you could probably even be able to pull this out of frame if you wanted to, uh, but to be honest with you, I kind of like the nice rich sound. What do you think of it? If you'd like to take a look at the Rode Pod mic, go ahead and take a look at the affiliate link inside the description down below, and it'll give you more details about what you can expect from this. I would recommend a mic activator, although it won't be 100% essential. I will let you know that you can probably just boost it up a little bit more. The noise floor will come up with it, but I think that's just a slight, slight inconvenience.